Derek Young of K-State Online here with new Kansas State commit Jaden Williams of Valley High School in West Des Moines. Jaden, this kind of unfolded pretty quickly for you. You got your offer from the Wildcats, took a visit, and committed, I think, in a span of two weeks. What kind of sold you on the Wildcats so quickly? What really sold me was when I first went there for the first visit, when I went on to the Iowa State game, it was just it's cool to do something different, you know, because going to schools around here like Iowa and Iowa State, and then you kind of get used to it because you go so many times, and then going to K-State, it just felt good because you see all this stuff, family, family, and stuff. And then when they offered me, it felt genuine, you know, because, you know, like, coach is cool. Coach Climbing is the man, really. And then when I went up there for the, uh, what well, you could say, junior day, mm -hmm. uh, it was just amazing. They, they showed me everything, they hooked it up, and they, it made me feel like home, really. Okay. Uh, you live in West Des Moines now, but you grew up in the Quad Cities area, which is also kind of Iowa Hawkeye territory. I know you took a lot of visits to Iowa, now committed to Kansas State. How solid is that commitment, and are other schools still trying to talk to you? Yes, schools still trying to talk to me, but, you know, I'm, I'm committed, 100% committed. I'm not, I'm not decommitted. I'm staying, you know. <laughs> All right. And, uh, of course, you have you have a ton of time until you will sign. Do you have a plan to uh, si uh, sign early and uh, early enroll at Kansas State, or will you still be, you know, take your whole senior year at Valley High School? I'm gonna take my whole senior year, enjoy, you know, enjoy this. Whoa, well, while I can, you know, you can't come back, so I might as well enjoy it all. Coach Messingham is the guy that also uh, recruits Iowa for K State. What have been your interactions with him, and what's the relationship like with him? It was cool. Actually, he, when he when he first talked to me to go to the Iowa State game, it was kind of like, it was cool. Because, like, 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 I didn't know anybody from Kansas State. Then he was like, all right, cool. It's, he likes me. He really wants me to come to K-State. And then uh, I talked to him uh, a couple days ago, and he just made me feel feel good, you know. Like, they really wanted me, and like, it was the best fit for me, so it was cool. Jake Rubley is another guy, the quarterback commit that we we did an interview with when we went out to Denver, and plenty of and they have four uh, four other commit or three other commits besides Rubley and you. Uh, how much interaction have you had with with the other guys in the class, and what, what's uh, been, I guess, the, kind of the welcoming committee when it comes to you know since you've been committed? Let's see, I, I talked to a few. I talked to Jake a few times. Played a little bit extra box with Jake, you know. Uh, Talk to Dorian a little bit. Uh, talk to Devonte a little bit. You know, just trying to get, trying to build a friendship so it's not really awkward when we, when we see each other for the first time. You know. <laughs> uh, did they the, before you committed? Were they kind of in your ear trying to get you to commit at that point yet? No, I nobody <laughs> talked to me before. Yeah, no. Okay. And how active do or do you hope to be for Kansas State moving forward? You're already committing to class. They plenty of other targets that they're trying to get. Obviously, are you going to be active and kind of getting that message out, the K State message out? Yeah, I already have. I've been trying to get people to come come on board and join. You know, it's going to be fun. K State is building something real special, so you know why not? Yeah, it's a loaded class in the state of Iowa. Actually, for 2021, a little bit rare how many Power Five uh, prospects there are. I, f I assume there's a specific couple that you've been talking to about K State. It was a few. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was a few. Okay, and. Uh, uh, Coach Anderson, I think, was another guy that recruited you for K-State. Uh, what's your interactions been like with him? And I guess what's your overall impressions of the type of coach that he is? <laughs> He's awesome. You know, like, uh, when I committed, FaceTime him right away. I FaceTime him. He was so cool. He was like, hey, man, you know, if you ever need something, just call me. You can call me every day if you want. If you want to just talk. You know, that, that just feels good to have somebody, like a coach, that you can go and talk to about some real-life stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. I talked about that loaded class in Iowa. I think of close to 20 or maybe over 20 Power 5 uh, offers have went out to different prospects. But you were one of the, I guess, later ones to right. pick that up. Was it was that tough for you, having to wait a little bit after everyone else? Were you getting a little nervous? To be honest, I, was, I wasn't worried at all. Yeah. I, really, I knew it was going to come. I was just patient and just sat back and waited for my turn, you know. You know. Yeah. And now, what, what's next for you in the recruiting process? I know you're already committed. Uh, do you have a, any other visits set up or a time where you'd like to visit K-State again? I'm going back up to K-State in, uh, I think, March 20th. March 20th for, uh, what, spring ball? That should be cool. Yeah, that'll be spring football practice. will already be started by then. I know uh, there was a whole lot of players that probably that you were around when you visited this past time because it's not in season. But what are some of the players you have gotten to know? I know you said in the last visit that you were around a couple that you really interacted with quite a bit. Uh, I talked to uh, – who did I talk to? 
Was it Malik Knowles? Yes. Yeah, I talked to Malik Knowles. He was cool. He, he came down there, and I talked to uh, Mike McCoy. He was actually with us the whole time during mm-hmm. the whole interview, and they was taking pictures with me. It was so cool. And I was talking to uh, the running back, Clyde Price. He was trying, I was just asking him, like, how is Coach Anderson? He was like, oh, yeah, he's a cool dude. Like, he, he's going to give it to you real, you know? So I guess that was cool. You know, Mike McCoy, from a physical standpoint, um, obviously he's not playing anymore. He got injured and his career is over. But he's someone from a physical standpoint that you've kind of been compared to. Were you kind of – is that something you saw when you were there or something you guys talked about? At first when I seen him, I didn't know he was running back. I was like, he's big. I didn't even know. Then he kind of told me. I was like, all right, so they, this is what they want right here. So it was kind of cool. Okay. Uh, going forward, you're, you're in the K-State class. Uh, and you know, firmly committed, but there's not you know not a whole lot of fanfare left. But what would you like to tell the fans uh, of what, about what's coming from Jaden Williams going forward? Because you're going to be, you know, committed for nearly a year before you sign. Right. I mean, they don't even they'll see the season come. The, last season wasn't even like half of what I can I can give to people. You know, this season, just something totally different. You know. The last thing I'll say is that I remember when you kind of busted onto the scene, something that I was told about was your performance against Bettendorf in the state playoffs. Do you feel like that was kind of your coming out party? That was it. <laughs> that was really it. That was a game where playing the Dome, well, I grew up in the Dome, really, because my dad played you and I. So that was my first game in the Dome, and it just felt like home, you know. It felt good. And, then, I mean, I guess I had to show out for the playoffs. You know? And when I got my opportunity, I had to take, I had to take advantage of it, really. That felt like home to you. Your next home will be Kansas State. I appreciate your time with uh, doing an interview with us here at K-State Online. For Jaden, I'm Derek Young, and remember to tell your friends. Thanks, man. Yeah. I appreciate that.